Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Alas and in this video we are reviewing this defense multi-tool wrench from Shomertech in collaboration with Kelly Warden. This is a self-defense multi-tool that is designed to be effective in non-permissive environments where other conventional tools may not be accepted. We are going to see if it has what it takes to earn the Tactical Tavern seal of approval. By the end of this review, you will have the necessary information to decide whether or not this will be a good fit for your everyday carry. With that being said, let's wrench into it. Before we begin, if you love gadgets here and upgrading your everyday carry, take a moment to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. At the time of this review, you can find the defense wrench for just $9. This really surprised me because at multiple martial arts seminars I've been to, I picked a couple of these up and thought they were at least double or triple the price. That is a further testament to the quality and construction. It measures in at five inches overall with just weighing in at 1.2 ounces. The defense wrench is made in the USA out of injection molded plastic. It offers a great variety of nut removing and tightening capabilities. Yes, this thing removes nuts. Kelly Ward is the man who designed this and he has a long history with martial arts and defensive tactics. You can certainly see that his input went into the design of this and it is a beautiful tool. I am a big fan of how lightweight yet robust this tool is. The design of the tool also makes it extremely effective at remaining in your hand, but that also means it's challenging to get out of someone else's hand. These are extremely lightweight and easy to travel with. And even if you do get caught with it, it's $9 and super replaceable. As far as enhancements go to this tool, I have nothing. Right out of the box, it's simple and effective. And I love that secondary endpoint that looks so innocent yet doubles the amount of striking force. I've suggested this to numerous friends who go on runs because it's easy to maintain in your hand, super lightweight, and because it's injection molded plastic, it's never gonna rust. This makes for a potent self-defense tool because it extends the perimeter of your hand. We have a rounded end towards the top, which is great for pressure point impact. A tapered end towards the bottom means hammer strikes are gonna concentrate the force to a single spot, making a great tool for getting someone off of you quickly. The top part is a knuckle saver. By increasing the structure of your hand, it helps to minimize broken knuckles when throwing punches. For people of smaller stature, this will be a great option as a force multiplier and giving you the edge in a fight. A lot of people I know are worried about carrying a knife because it could be used against them, but I feel that this is a great entry into the everyday carry world and carrying a personal protection tool on you. Because this is a versatile product and can be used to undo and tighten bolts, another great reason you are carrying this tool is because you fix a lot of loose nuts and bolts. If you need an extra layer of camouflage, you can easily attach your keys to this and no one would be the wiser. Not only does it have great everyday carry capabilities to tighten and loosen bolts, but if you work as a doorman or security work, I would highly suggest this as a force multiplier to also protect your knuckles, which is why it gets the Tactical Tavern seal of approval. If you agree or disagree with the review, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, as well as what other self-defense or tactical gear you'd love to see reviewed. If you found this video valuable or helpful, please make sure to drop a like, share, and subscribe because it helps grow the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos coming every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, and some fun videos you won't find here. With that being said, my name is Tomas Alas. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.